Hi, this is Vicki Romaine with Cheerful Greetings, and I'm glad you are here today. And if you haven't seen the video prior to this, I would suggest that you see how I made my master board and the couple of items that I made. These are some leftover pieces. Uh, I have uh, six small circles that I, I plan to uh, put together and make some earrings. So, if you'll notice that two of them here are bright colors, while the others have a different tone, and so they will be on the back side of the other two. That way, when the earring moves around on your ear, you'll see something on both sides. However, if I had wanted to, I could have put a book page on the back of each one, and that would have given me three pairs of earrings. In fact, that is probably what I will do with the two up there in the left-hand corner, the blue one and the white and yellow one. Right now, I am uh, putting my earrings together. Uh, they're nothing more than two circles that I cut out of my master board. And as I said, if you uh, haven't seen how I, made, how I made the master board, you can go to the description below and I will have a link there. So you can go there first before you see uh, what I do with the pieces that are left over. I'm gluing the front to the back on each one of these. Putting the circles back to back will give them a little more stability and uh, it will give me something on both sides. I'm using Eileen's Turbo Glue to put the two sides together. Now, I do not plan to uh, do anything with the blue and yellow uh, pieces. Uh, I'm going to wait and do them later after I have put book pages on the back of them. I'm taking my punch and I'm punching just a piece of cardboard to check the size of the hole that this punch is going to make. And I wanted to make sure it was small enough. And now I'm taking out uh, some of my uh, jump rings to put on the earrings. I'm punching a hole at the top of my earring. And this is where I'll be putting the findings. Now that I have a hole in both of the pieces, I can uh, put the findings in. I'm going to um, start with two jump rings. One jump ring will go into the um, earring itself. And then the second one will go into the jump ring and the earpiece. Here's my finished earring. I hope you like them. Uh, I did not show the process of making the jewelry itself since this is basically a video on um, using your master board. But I hope you do like my earrings and I think they're pretty nifty. Here's the back side of the earrings and I think that shows up nicely too. I hope you enjoyed watching me um, use my master board to make earrings. Now, let's look at our big pieces of um, master board that I cut off and um, let's see what we can make with them. There's one thing more I want to show you about my earrings. Now these, I put two together to make them double. Now, the, I only had two left, so I cannot do that. So what I plan to do is put uh, a book page in the back. Just cover it with a book page. And then do the same thing. Make my earrings connected to the, the little um, piece here, a jewelry piece. And uh, I'll be putting the little plastic ends on them. Even though these are made so you don't have to use the plastic ends, 
I like to use them because it keeps it from falling off and, lo and losing your, your earring. But I did want to point out the, the different ways that you can do this stuff. And that's either have it back to back or put a book page or something like that on the back on one side. And that way you are still, you'll have a pair there. Because uh, w when I cut this, I only cut out uh, six. Four here and then two here. Now, let's go to our ornaments. I've got these right, uh, round pieces of my uh, master board. And I have a couple ideas that I want to share. And these are just possibilities, so you don't have to do it. First, I want to start with my star. And uh, I just wanted to have a little bling on it. So I've got me a piece of uh, gold here. And I cut out my, my star shape. And I have the um, stars in different uh, sizes. And this is the size I uh, decided on. I had one, I started to put one a little smaller, so more of the master board could be seen, but it kind of got lost in the mass uh, designs behind it. So that's why I, I've gone with this one. And I'm going to just take my glue, and I'm using Eileen's Turbo Glue. And this is just a shiny piece of um, cardstock. Now, I started to use a piece of gold glitter, and I decided against that because I wanted my um, ornaments to have more of a homemade, um, a, home, a homey a type of uh, design, a homemade and without all the shiny commercial glitter. And this is gives me a little uh, bling, and yet it still looks like it's um, something that was made in the past. Now I've got to decide how I want my ornament to hang. And I think I want it this way. So what I'm gonna do is Punch me a hole at the top. Now, I couldn't decide on what color I wanted, so I think I'm going to do a brown for all of my ornaments. And this is my ornament. As I say, I'm, what I will probably do is take the string out and cover the back with uh, a book page. But I wanted to show you the possibilities because what you could, besides doing that, I could glue them together like this and have one on each side. Uh, you'd be, it's, it's your choice. I'm just trying to give you some ideas. Okay, now I had some pictures here. These are from um, Graphics Fairy and the different types of pictures. Vintage looking. And I thought I'd use them. Now, I accidentally made my print from a piece of paper instead of cardstock. And I want the cardstock for body. So, I have a piece of just plain on the cardstock that I'm going to put uh, my picture on. Now, let's see. I'm not sure which one I want to put her on. Um, I think I'll put her on this one. Now, I'm not going to 
go through putting the holes and the ribbons on each one of them. I'm just going to show you basically the ornament itself because once you've seen what I've done, you, you can do it yourself. Let's see, I have some writing on here, uh, two different directions. I think I'll just make it go this way. And I put her at an angle on purpose. I didn't want it all to be the exact same. Now, here's another one I cut out. Looks like a child's face. Now, I have not finished these ornaments completely. Uh, I have another um, digital that I cut out that's from um, Graphics Fairy also. And I decided to leave it as a circle. And it's this man here that um, has kind of a vintage uh, outfit on. And we should put uh, it on this purple ornament, or the ornament that has a lot of purple on it. And that kind of matches up. Uh, I decided I, I really want some bling on these ornaments after all. So I'm gonna first uh, put the bling on, which will be uh, stickles. And I will take the stickles and uh, put little dots 
of the stickles all the way around the ornaments and that will give it a little bling. After the stickles are dry, I plan to put a book page on the back, glue the book page. And then after that's completely dry, I will take a uh, Mod Podge and completely cover uh, the front and the back of the ornaments and hang them up and let them dry. It may take two coats um, for them as it did for the um, earrings I made. I put two coats of Mod Podge to protect the earrings. So I hope you enjoy me um, making these uh, things from my master board. It's kind of a, a little unusual to make something of this sort, but uh, you can tell that the patterns go together. And when you have the master board itself, it doesn't really look like anything. But once you cut it up into shapes and put um, some pictures with it or some graphics, uh, it really they really look nice. And don't forget on these uh, ornaments, you can also use photographs, like uh, you can use a picture of a dog. Um, you could put a child's picture on there. Uh, it, it has loads of possibilities. So uh, pull out your magazine, pull out your photos, and uh, first make you a master board, and then have it uh, come together uh, into something new. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I enjoyed making the different objects. Um, I really enjoy making a master board because it is um, so relaxing. I don't have to worry about if it's on straight or uh, if it's upside down or anything like that. So um, try your hand at it. And uh, in the meantime, I want you to have a great crafting day. And please come back and see me and see what I have in store for you for the next time. So, goodbye for now, and thank you for visiting my channel. I really would appreciate it if you would subscribe. So, until next time, bye.